Illinovic now back to serve. Just an absolutely impressive start here for Penn State. And the block again is there. That time, Serena Gray getting involved. Some service pressure here down the line. And you see this set was in some. She misses. She's going to miss that. But, but she's going for it. She knows when to swing hard and where not to swing at the ball. Bump set up that time. Bronkovich with the swing. And Gray right into the block. Good one-handed set, and Gray again responding right at the net. Parker flying in here on the cover. See him make this move, lay out, and then Gray focused, right? Forcing Penn State a little bit out of system or even passing these balls over the net. Illini have yet to lead here in this first set, now trailing by two. The left-handed push shot from Fitzpatrick. Here's Parker. And Cooper was waiting for it. And coverage just not there for Illinois. And another point for Penn State. Beautiful dig by Cooper. Right to target. But again, you see Gray just hanging hanging in there, waiting on that perfect path. Like they had a solid five of seven sets against the Badgers last weekend and looking to build on it again. But that's going to be tough when you have to try to get it over a middle-like horn. You can see here on the perfect path, they know in this rotation, they're going to want to set the middle. Hoard just kind of sticks. Patrick set the serve for the Nittany Lions, the true freshman, with a little jump serve right there, received by the Illini, set by Bruder, back over to the antenna, poked over there. A little battle at the net right now, punched over. Kudryashova punches it back over. There's a set by Bruder, back over to Terry, but a nice block right there by Serena Gray by the antenna. Scotting the start at setter. With the serve there, received by the Illini. It's set by Brown. Back to Cooney, but an amazing block there by a combo of Gray and Johnny Parker. Arthur to serve, only played in three sets last season. Illinois receives back to Collins. That one stays in play, but Lenovic saved that with her knee. We'll talk about the significance of that in a second. Back to Cooney, and Penn State gets the kill. Gray and Parker went up again. Gets the serve up, received by Terry, set back over to the right side, swung, blocked off by Penn State. Illinois keeps it in play, trying to send a free ball over. They can't. And that's going to do it for the first set. Penn State wins 25-16. Said that angle, it's just sharp and inside, inside the block. It's almost hitting the 10 foot line from that approach. Here's Parker. He's got a powerful swing for Penn State. Kudry Shova, that one handled by McGraw. Hoard, good defense on the Minnesota side that time. It was Kill Kelly in the backcourt. Trying to chase it down. Good hustle from Hampton. Rollins up against it and rejected. The hit percentages, you see Minnesota flirting with 300 here for the match. Penn State, another point, and they've closed to within one. And that height on that ball for Horde is hard to defend. Hit 556 last weekend, and Horde another good hit percentage at 692 tonight. Blossom keeping it alive. Now the setup here for Hampton. Parker with the off speed. Rollins getting a touch on that swing. Hampton the back set. And Kill Kelly with the up. Rollins again at Hoard. Look at this block move. Watch Hoard's hands press over to the Big Ten Network. And again, we will show Penn State and Minnesota coming up tomorrow night as well. Samity getting blocked at the net. And Hoard with that reaction. She said, looky what I got. I love the surprise. That makes me happy. She gets there, but she gets there so quick. And the block is here out of that timeout. It's the first point here for Penn State as a freshman and a sophomore. Shaftmaster to Landfair. Blocking and serving have been key for Penn State. And look at that reaction. Doing a nice job this evening. Hitting the negative numbers on Saturday against Minnesota. 
Good reaction from Blossom. He'll send it Parker's way. And McGraw was waiting for it. There's Wenis with the swing. How about it from Parker and Horde? Great pass by the Lions. Buckeyes, good touch on the block. Janasia Moore blocked by Penn State. Moore for the hit. Block by the Nittany Lions. He used to come and watch me play when I was here at the Buckeyes. Her mother also played here. She was a setter. Ball in play, Murr. Oh, Pedraza made it. Stuff block by the Lions. Anastia hits the overpass. Buckeyes are able to keep it a play. Vanya for the attack. Penn State for the block. The freshman. Boat serve. See by Indiana. That set swing. Blocked back. Serena Gray at the net. A few family members here tonight. Maddie Bolinovic. The serve for the Nittany Lions from the left side. Jump float serve for her. Received by Indiana. That's set right at the middle of the court. Back by Stockham. But it's sent back by Annie Kate Fitzpatrick. And she gets herself a block. Left side of the sideline. Steps back into it. There's a serve. Down to a knee. Indiana receives. Set left side attack. Get us. Block back. 6-5 Penn State. Parker to serve. That's received at the net. Almost an overpass. Kept in play, but blocked back by Serena Gray. Dressed as the libero for the first series of the season. Has mostly been a defensive specialist as she floats that one over. Indiana receives. Sets. Hampton keeps it in play. Hoard just pokes it over. Indiana gets back in the system. Edwards swings. Blocked. Roofed by Caitlin Hoard. Hard serve. Line drive. Received Penn State. Blossom steps beyond the attack line to Parker. Pancake dig there, Armstrong. Sent back, swing, blocked at the net. Indiana covers. Joust there again. And this time, Serena Gray says, not anymore. I'm not sure if that was just execution or a little bit of luck of the ball just bouncing on the net like that. Lenovic serves, Indiana receives. That set Fitzner back to the left side. Edwards, swing, block, and who else? Iowa State the serve. It's going to be Emily Londot. She stays flat on her feet for that serve as well. Fitzpatrick receives. Blossom sets. Back left side. Fitzpatrick tipped. Ohio State able to dig it up. There's a set over to the left side. Swing block. Kudria Shovo the big block there. On the left side for the Buckeyes. Stays flat on her feet for that one. Hampton goes down to receive that one. That one set. Parker swings. Dug up there by the Buckeyes. That one set over to the right side. Swing. Londot block back. And one service ever last time out, the West Virginia transfer. Serves here, hits the tape, Ohio State receives. Having to retreat the set, that one, and it's blocked back. Oh, Allie, Allen. It's by two, Hampton to serve. Hampton serves, nice serve received there. Down the middle attack, Newton blocked by Penn State, Purdue can't cover. Big point right here for both teams. Purdue leads 22-21, that's a high serve. Dump move right there, but Caitlin Hoard was having none of it. And she blocks that one back, and we're tied at 22. And it halts this Penn State run. Here's a serve here from Johnson. Fitzpatrick receives that one. That one's set. Right side attack, Parker. Purdue able to dig that one up. Down the middle attack there. Blocked from Penn State. Here's Maddie Belinovic, who will come in to serve. She had an ace last night against Purdue. And big block by Penn State. They got out blocked last night. That's a good start. Caitlin Hoard, huge for Penn State on the defensive side, obviously. All overturned because there was a net violation. Actually, no, the point stayed with Penn State. There's Hoard who picks up another one, and Penn State now has tied the match. Nice set by Blossom. And denied his chin. It's the Penn State block, Parker. has defeated Purdue at home today to break a two-match losing streak. And circle this one on the schedule. We'll see if it 
ends up being a turning point in Penn State season because Purdue is definitely one of the top teams in the country. Then they were, and this entire week, they came out firing, they came out with fire, ready to block, communicating on all cylinders. Uh, we'll see how she builds off of it. Penn State to serve. Rutgers receives that one, set right at McCourt Balicka. Over to the left side, that's McNamara. Penn State blocks, Rutgers sends it back. Maximova again, but another block, this time by Caitlin Moore. 18-17, Penn State still trails Rutgers, but they're looking to tie it here. Hits the tape, it's received by Shitty. Down the middle, attack, and a block! Kudryashova! Here's the serve from Hampton, that's going to be in play. Received by Rutgers, that one's set in system. Left side block back, Fitzpatrick. She gets the block and the point, and Penn State wins the second set, 25-23. Late, we saw it against Purdue in the fourth. We saw it here against Rutgers in the second. So it'll be Jenna Hampton set the serve for them. Hampton serve works across court. That one's set in system, back to the left side. Maximova, but blocked by Penn State. Space to hit when your middles are involved because it pulls a Rutgers blocker away, creating a seam in the block. Hampton had to serve. There's another good play at the net. From the young players in the Big Ten, especially on a team like Penn State, A.C. Fitzpatrick so animated. Hold it up for the second attack. Really, really nice job out of the middle. Ford has a couple of kills tonight. Penn State, five different players with at least one kill. Dig. Free ball nearly led to a point for Penn State. Blocked to the net, Kudria Shova. A really good job staying disciplined in her base position, playing defense first before rushing into the set. She creates this offensive opportunity for Penn State to put this ball away. Parker is Caitlin Schweighoffer, Rutgers head coach, was saying that Johnny Parker is so good that she's actually broken the volleyball metrics. <laughs> you can't quantify what she does out there. Caitlin Horde, excuse me, block. Great job getting all of her hands across. Watch how high her hand. To fit the roster. Yeah, that's an incredible story. When she told us that fact, it was pretty incredible that she put together this team of girls who were able to compete this season in the middle of a pandemic. No less. And then the pandemic hit. Fortunately, she was just coming off of an international trip where she was able to recruit. Ray gets the first one under her belt. And he's Lansing. Cox the first initial touch. Pull Jan. Good dig found. Sparns are forced to respond to cross court. Hitter and says blocked up. Up front by Serena Gray. Today and the rest of the season, Sarah Franklin, the freshman, who had made an outstanding start to her collegiate career has a big block up front. Then the Lions save it. The touch for Spartans save it. Monk's trying to touch it over. It's still alive. Hot potato time. Spartans back and north. The swing off the fingertips. It's still alive. Gets deflection off the hand. Spartans have a chance to reset. North with another swing. Gets blocked and stuffed up. And it's going to be a Nindy Lion block up front. Penn State up by two. So we're back underway for some more volleyball. Monk's trying to go through a couple misdirections there. Michigan State gets the ball back on their side. Kronowski's going for a sweep. She gets stuffed up in the middle. It's just tough when the ball lands out and there's really no chance. Ross gets stuffed up by Fitzpatrick. So one nil, Penn State with the lead. Pulls in, is stuffed up and Actually hits the tape, but there for the block either way was Horde. 2-0 to Penn State with the lead. Off the net it goes, saved by Norris. Horde off the fingertips. Sklar sets it up here for Norris. Gets stuffed up, and the block goes in. 